A presidential campaign that has been going on for months, if not years, is finally in the home stretch. With just two weeks until Election Day, President Barack Obama and Republican challenger Mitt Romney were back in battleground states. National polls suggest the race could go either way, but the real fight comes down to just nine states. Anybody who says they, they can tell you how this thing is going to turn out, I, I wouldn't take that bet. I don't think anybody knows. Romney and running mate Paul Ryan were in Nevada Tuesday. An AP tally predicts Romney will take at least 191 of the 270 electoral votes needed to win. If Romney can take Nevada's six votes and win in other states that are now too close to call, he could topple the president. We can handle two more weeks of the attacks that are coming from Barack Obama, but we cannot handle four more years of what he's given us. Romney acknowledged that his three debates with the president boosted his standing in the polls. These debates have supercharged our campaign. There's no question about it. The president started the day in the largest battleground state, hoping to take Florida's 29 electoral votes. AP predicts Mr. Obama already has 237 in his column. Here's my plan for the next four years. The Obama campaign also released a new ad touting specifics for his second term in office. They've also printed three and a half million copies of the president's plan. And unlike Mitt Romney, I'm actually proud to talk about what's in it. Because my plan actually will move America forward. By late afternoon, he was in Ohio, a state that will likely be hardest fought in these final days of the campaign. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.